Hey, what's going on there, buddy? We are sitting here today doing a little bit of homework. I uh, got chapter 7 to do. So we're going to go ahead and get that knocked out. But I did say we're going to do a Q&A. So since I said we're doing a Q&A, we're going to do a Q&A. And let's actually jump right into it where we're at. Favorite YouTubers. Favorite YouTuber by far. Shea Butter. Shea Butter is one of the best. She's one of the realists. She has really stepped her game up over the years from COVID era to today. Now she's more into the cinematic presentation, more of the spoken word presentation. Uh, other ones will be Chef Rush, MKBHD, Linus, Tech Tips, Gamers Nexus. There's quite a few of them I like, you know. A lot of the educational ones like Real Life Lore, Wendover Productions, uh, Legal Eagle. Of course, Lo-Fi Girl, Chill Hop Music. There's quite a few YouTubers that I love, but if I had to say a top three, it would be Shea Butter, Chef Rush, 30 by 40 Studio. Got my nice cup of hot tea right here. Got my juice. Got my water. Favorite supplement line. Ghost. Let's not even, let's not even mince words. Ghost. 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 Second will be Axe and Sledge, but first, Ghost. We didn't even have to do all that. It's Ghost. Favorite protein flavor. Ghost. Oreo and Ghost uh, Chips Ahoy. You know, there were these rules They're tied. The uh, uh, second is all bean. Be amazing. Uh, vegan. All of those are pretty good. No matter which one you get, they're all pretty good. I'd like to hear any of your reaction. How is school going? I can knock off a lot of these school ones pretty much one by one. Uh, school is going really good. I'm right now in macroeconomics and British Columbia real estate law and ethics. I actually could have took um, Canadian law and ethics, but... I chose British Columbia because that's really where I'm going to do most of my work at, so it would be better to just do it there. But we just finished midterms, the midterm project, and now we are pretty much going towards finals in April. when NAR was legislating, as you said, regarding them. If it had been legislation, you wouldn't have been able to sue them over it, you know. Um, so uh, that when they were making their policy decisions, and here was the challenge. You had MLSs like ours which said, okay, these are equivalent as long as violating the antitrust laws. Now, Ralph maybe can say about NAR, but not on that issue. And it, 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 it turns out that a lot of those people right away without, you know, remains to be seen. Uh, NAR certainly has said that it has no intention of changing its law 
office website rules in a way that's kind of a hard competition. And, and, and you know, and, and frankly, the, uh, it, the, the, the world has changed since then, so that the threat of brokers using the internet to try to get a competitive advantage today is probably not that much of a threat. It's sort of an accepted part of delivery of, of real estate services today. And um, so, so maybe the likely effect of the expiration going to be monumental. I guess as I look at the case, it's significant less in how it protected a particular business model, but as Ralph points out, you know. So what kind of questions are you thinking about? I mean, I, I would guess there is some. So here's another one. How do you balance school, real estate, and work life? To be totally honest with you, I don't. It's either one thing or the other, maybe half and half. But most of my life is usually school and work. Maybe go to a gym, maybe do a couple of other things. I really don't do a whole lot outside of school and work, so that's not really a big issue or a big problem for me. It's an issue for other people. But for me, it's not really an issue, so... It's the thing, like I tell people all the time, if you got an issue that I don't have to go out and party or I don't just want to hang out, that's your issue. here so maybe you can also just take a minute to explain a little bit more about what what's the reality look like now well, so um, multiple listing services started in principle listing services at that time about the time that the vow policy so let's talk about it. we had the idx policy i, I went back to school kind of a pioneer in terms of structuring the policy because i felt ideas. like it um, and the idea was that no other reason i felt like to it interact with consumers online just what uh, just what okay was so i always want to be in real estate, and I always loved so architecture. Which is a national association of so property that the two kind of go hand in uh, hand with not, each other for uh, me. But I was told I was too that, stupid that, to go uh, back. So moving, which to now I'm just having fun um, doing it. So was the show and I mean, for at the a time. lot of fun really doing it. Else, even a player as big as Microsoft, uh, who started its Home Advisor website, not the Home Advisor you see advertised now, but an older version of it. And um, I guess, so why did I choose um, UBC? Realtor.com offered lots of incentives for MLSs not to provide data to other folks. So this is about the reasons. Of the century. Just um, reasons. 2007 was a really weird time, though. Which the world changed in a lot of ways. One is that this company called 3Y came up with something called List Hub. And no. this was meant to you be know a what? Vancouver. system where the MLS could go to List Hub and say, here are our beautiful place. Make them available to beautiful place. Portals. If you've um, never been, you fact, are Zillow missing out on a whole lot. If it had not been able to get I would say go. For seven or eight years before that relationship broke down. Truly, I would not uh, be are you today. open many, uh, websites to relocating after graduation? Yes, no, maybe, I don't know, I'm not data. sure yet. Data, data. Uh, thought is kind of yes, but... Um, also, I think there's been a no. From that so, I love Alaska. It was my dream to, to move to Alaska. But Vancouver is beautiful as well. And Vancouver could work for me as well. So, yeah. I could kind of see myself moving to Vancouver. In terms of license law requirements. That may have been too loud, I'm sorry. Uh, what are my plans for after graduation? Uh, plans for after graduation is to find a job in the real estate development sector, like Quad Real, CBRE, uh, Prologist. Or, you know, Hope Quiz Homes. Uh, and he was, he said 
you know, companies that more deal with the development, I'll still be a real estate agent. I'll still be a broker. You know, I'm still going to open my own brokerage at some point. But I want to get more into the real estate development part. Here's a good one. Any planned vacations? No. No. And if there were, well, I'm not telling anybody either. Last thing I want is anybody to tag along and make my vacation less of a vacation. So, travel plans, I keep to myself. My next adventure, I don't know yet. I'm still trying to just battle through 2025. So, I haven't really put together the next adventure. Let's get through with school, and then we'll figure that out. But, it'll probably be something to do with the Middle East, like... UAE or Qatar, maybe even Australia. Books I'm reading right now. The four day work week, no, the four hour work week, and the 12 week year. I love the 12 week year. Great book. If you have a chance, read it. Who's talking kind of looks like my broker in a little bit. Single, taken, dating, giving up, giving up. That was the easy one. Right now, not looking to date, not looking to talk to anybody. I'm happy the way I am, happy where I'm at, did it on my own. Don't want anyone coming in and trying to either A, knock off what I'm doing or take credit for what I'm doing. 
So, for right now, giving up. Talking to you outside, the only thing is, kind of get stuck in your teeth just a little bit. Wrestling, Mount Rushmore. Kurt Angle. CM Punk. Okada. Of course, Bret Hart. Best there is, best there was, best there ever will be. Literally named. Literally named my brokerage after him. They're owned by associations. They're owned by brokers. The only person who has the consumer trust is by Kurt Angle, Olympic gold medalist, is the licensee practitioner. CM Punk from Chicago. It has a duty of care. It's way above the duty of care. Okada just Okada's. That's all he does. He just Okada's. Specifically under the research standards. The new NAR CEO, I think, recently sent out a letter saying that they would I'll tell you why y'all should read uh, read that book. Twelve week year is really good. It forces you to look at uh, every three months as the fourth quarter of the year. So you're always going to be in go mode, but you're going to take a week off in between for in between those twelve weeks. And just relax, decompress, go do something, do what you want to do. That's a beautiful thing. So, my 12 weeks actually ends at the end of these classes. So, for me, that's a good thing. And I don't know what I'm going to do for that week, but the thing that sucks is the classes won't line up where the next semester will start right after this semester ends, so I can't just go straight into the next classes. But it's a great book because it teaches you just to prioritize and buckle down. Get down to business. Don't dilly-dally, don't mess around. Just get right to it. Who are you listening to right now? Um, Unknown Mortal Orchestra, Tame Impala, um, Balloon, I don't think that's your name. Of course, my Nirvana, Alice and James. A lot of lo fi hip hop beats to study to. I listen to a little bit of everything at this point. I don't think there's one definitive thing I listen to anymore. So 
also true that, I mean, the way it is now, there are all these independent uh, points of economic decision making. You've got 700 some MLS. Favorite team. As soon as you say, let's create one MLS, one national MLS, let's say, you have one Seahawks. independent point of economic Trailblazers. Decision. And that's not the sort of thing, if I, I'm not an antitrust Mariners. Guy, that's not the sort of thing the antitrust laws generally encourage, right? We don't BC Lions. Independent economic decision making and replace it with um, one UBC T-Birds, as far as Canada, uh, Alabama Roll Tide, Alabama Crimson Tide, as far as NCAA, and I know everybody thinks, oh, you from Chicago, you supposed to play Chicago teams, no, not even if my life depended on it, sorry. Favorite wrestlers. I'm more of the independent wrestlers, but I do like some people in WWE. You know, uh, Nikita Lyons is a favorite. Uh, Jacob Fatu, Viva Van, Nolar Bear. Um, is his name Jack Perry? Jack Perry. CM Punk, John Cena. Uh, if you want to go old school, Steve Austin. Uh, Big Boss Man, Doink the Clown. Doink, I love Doink. Uh, you know, he brought a lot of nuance to that character that if you just look at, if you're just going for a name, you're not going to pick him. But if you're going for a person that played the character so well, doink. Uh, some of my favorite matches. You know, Brett versus Austin, WrestleMania 13. WrestleMania 17, a TLC match. That was a really good match. Uh, Triple H versus Rock. Highway to Hell, ladder match. Uh, Mega Powers versus the Mega Bucks it was a good match. Okada versus, um, what's his name? Omega. Those were a set of good matches. Those are really good matches. I don't know if he looks like my broker or he just sounds like my broker, but I feel like I almost need to call my broker. <laughs> How is 75 hard going? It's called 75 hard for a reason. Because it's hard. Duh. Nah, I'm joking. It's going really good. I get my guy on the water today. I gave up coffee for the first 90 days of the year, so I usually have one of these a day of tea, but a nightcap is usually uh, ghost hot chocolate. You know, get my, you know, like, I'll do one walk a day mandatory, and then I'd be like DDP yoga. Or exercise bike or something as my second. You mean, you mean the example of the person who just wants a, to pay a broker to list her home on the MLS? I mean, that, well, those options are available in every market now. No, I think that's right. But, uh, or a consumer who is uh, putting on the bulk of the certain income and thinking about the future of their business. As a buyer. Yeah, I said the transactions level. So, 
That's all I got. One more question to answer. And this is the hard one because, boy, this could get you in some trouble. Thoughts on the Vince McMahon scandal. You know there's some drug on my feet, right? I really don't want to answer that question at all. I believe in innocent until proven guilty. However, I also believe where there's smoke, there's fire. And we've heard these things quite a bit about events over the years, you know. Whether it's Sable or any other divas or women he's worked with in tanning salons or massage parlors. So it kind of comes hard to rec reconcile that a man who has done so much for a business and has built the business and built a very respectable business well, in size and revenue and profit, income, can be a monster. But it's been proven you can be a monster and do great things. Harvey Weinstein, R. Kelly. So... You know, it's one of them things where it's like you don't want to say, oh no, he ain't guilty. It's just some woman. But boy, she laid out a lot. Way too much to say, you know. <sighs> and then she had the text messages, which kind of does prove some things. So it's like, boy, don't get in trouble saying anything. Just, I'm going to wait for it to play out. <laughs> But I think that's all the questions I got. Sorry, I kind of drug it out. But anyway, you guys have a good evening, have a good night, have a good tomorrow. <laughs>